Hello and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're back in Myth of Empires for how to set up a pig farm guide. And this will be an unlimited way to get animal fat. Animal fat is used to make iron weapons, iron armor. It is a very important step to the mid game. And it can be a bit of a bitch to get hold of, especially when you're first started to get into it. Because some of these boars, they can come in and start murdering you. And this is a completely passive way to get that animal fat. There are different items that you do actually get from the pig farm. Now I've got one set up. I just set it up on this server not too long ago you're going to need several things like a horse you're going to need a car and that absolutely obnoxious cage sitting on top of the car itself it's kind of a weird way to have it and it does look kind of odd but needs must so what you're going to need to set this up is the horse drawn vehicle the wheelbarrow you're going to need which you get at 27 you're going to need the medium animal cage which you get at 31 you're going to need the boar pen which you get at 33 horse you can get whenever but those are the general things that you need to set it up now you can use a vagrant or you can i'm currently using oh look there's a boar standing right there ready for me to take it out who brought that in? thank you very much ladies and gentlemen so you can use a vagrant on there it will help the actual pigs themselves feel more comfortable feel better so we're actually going to knock out this pig i'll show you how to knock out a pig it's going to be that easy we won't even have to find it so this is going to be a bit of a nightmare because i'm going to hit this guy and he's going to go to low health when i have to change over to the actual hammer so you're going to want to hit the pig over and over again this pig's actually doing absolutely crap tons of damage to me holy crap right so we're gonna get it to low health why is this he's gonna run away almost killed me amazing and i'm wearing iron armor so you can understand that like this is kind of weird oh he's get he's got stuck so we're gonna knock him out keep hitting him it's good to get him stuck and he died for some bloody reason. But you're going to actually be using the simple club to knock them out. He shouldn't have been dead. That's just weird. That shouldn't have happened. So I'm going to quickly destroy this cage on top of here so we can actually show you how to put it on there. So to attach the actual crate to a horse, you're going to want to have the horse. You get on the horse, you put it into a closer position to the actual thing, even though it's covered in crap right now. So we're going to go back. Just take a couple of steps back, get as close as you can. My keyboard is doing backflips right now. This is what happens when you decide to use... The uh, wireless keyboards they just don't like to work 99% of the time then you're going to hold e on the actual wheelbarrow itself and you're going to click connect to the horse now you click the horse that is close to you which is this is horsey right here level 41 horsey it's the first one i got on this server so i just didn't really name it it's not even that great of a horse so when you have the cage that you want to add to the next part of it which is going to be the obnoxiously massive thing that's going to be in the way you just put it on your bar you press six and you go pop and voila you have your cage and your barrow set up well that pig did a number on me and then went and died anyway so we have to go and find another pig now so we're off i'll probably give it an extra hit by accident now we do have a pig farm right close to us a pig area on the map now if you want to see what the pig area on the map looks like it's this with the boar head showing you exactly where it is now remember if you want to ask any questions about a game please feel free to join my discord down in the description ask any questions you fancy if you want to come play with us on our server that is also you're also welcome to do that we're almost capped on our limit right now but we're working towards upgrading that limit now this boar over here is probably going to give me a little bit of a beating so we're going to get rid of the cage we're going to get on the horse even though my horse doesn't have any bloody armor on it it's got really nice hp so we're going to actually jump off and to detach it i might as well show you how to do that real quick we can actually attach this because it's on a hill of an inventory and then you go to remove connection which for some reason is a mining pick on a rock now this horse is probably going to get murdered but it'll make for good content so i'm actually going to get a little bit of a charge up to get a big old hit on the beginning first hit we're going to go over here i'm probably going to miss it it's going to be absolutely great and boom 414 damage on the first hit boom 450 damage how much hp does the boar have quite a decent amount so we're going to turn around and miss it because i'm just i'm trying to turn with the bloody spear <laughs> i'm playing the bloody game okay so I'm hitting for 286 now. They're going to run soon. It's going to run. If my guild mate runs and decides it's, it's making it bleed. No, NPC bastard. This is the second time. And our pig is now dead. There's a lot of stuff in this game that starts to wind you the hell up. That is one of them. Now let's go find another pig. Do the same thing again. Bloody vagrant. So make sure you have your simple cudgel. Make sure that you've got a spear to do a lot of the damage straight away at the beginning. Go and find a piggy McPigerson. So it seems like I've killed all the bloody pigs around here. So we're going to go to another area and try to find those pigs. Maybe get a little bit of a lower level pig so they don't actually murder us. These pigs are an absolute nightmare sometimes. 
When you get a couple of them on you, it's dead horse, it's dead, it's, it's dead character, it's dead everything. Especially if you get the whole like herd of them attack you. I don't even know what a group of pigs is called. Herd, die, dies the house. Quick tip while you're going around, make sure you go downhill diagonally. If you go downhill straight, you could do a little hop and your horse is dead meat at the bottom. It doesn't take much falling for your horse to actually just get absolutely gruntled at the bottom of a hill. So you gotta be careful with that when you're moving around. And you're turning circles when it comes to uh carrying this bloody great big cage around is a nightmare so people don't run into a pack of wolves or a bear or a mountain lion or something while i'm moving so damn slowly oh god wolves wolves we won't get away from them either don't attack me cage oh there's more wolves i'm running into all the wolves there's another wolf there beautiful fantastic hit him one time let's just hope we don't get stuck on any trees or any rocks because they'll actually muller us so let's try and get down to the road and get out of the way of all these bloody trees and rocks there's a pig over here but we're getting chased i still believe we're getting chased yep they're all behind grab this pig you want the pig right grab the pig the deer you want a deer there's all that food. Why are you chasing a lump of wood? Well, I suppose they are dogs. Oh no, I got stuck on a tiny branch. These things literally chase you to chase you to the end of the bloody earth. Right, we got a piggy here. Level 21 piggy. What about the level 16 piggy? Those wolves are over there killing all those deers. So we're going to kill this little level 16 piggy. Oh, you shitting me? Get up on the horse. Come on, wolf. Chase me over here. We're going to end up dying because I'm going to end up running off the edge of a cliff or something. <laughs> it's never easy when you're in the wild. It's never easy. Oh, and we're going to run into all the other wolves we were running into before. Look, these wolves are just chasing these deer. So chase the deer. You don't want a horse. Free deer. This must have been what it was like in the Wild West in America back in the bloody 1700s. Getting chased down by timber wolves. Oh, God. Cliff edge. Oh, no. Rocks and trees. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What was that? What about? <laughs> oh no. Oh god, that was bad. I'm getting chased by all the bloody wolves now. Oh, we're gonna have to go through the trees. This is not good. We're running out of stamina. Upgrade renowned guild skill to level 13. Okay. Upgrade the step. Oh no, I got stuck on a tree. Turn in circles and crap. We're still getting chased by the wolves. No, we're good. Woo! Woo! We survived. That was a hell of a lot of bloody wolves. This is what the forest is like, ladies and gentlemen. Forest is an absolute bloody night to run around. So now we actually have to find some piggy. So I'm not going to that cliff again with all those bloody boars. Found one. Is there wolves around here though? Has to be level 33. We're looking for lower level ones. Oh, we're all almost back at bloody base. We did a massive bloody circle. Got a nice little PvP marker over there for when we go and attack that lovely little base that people have set up carry on going this way why not try and sneak up the side here level 17 level 18 let's go have a little look around what direction are you going for let's see what happens see if we can kill him or if i die first one's dead so we can just survive get one more hit off and then he's gonna run but he's gonna get stuck one more one more one more hit now we're gonna have to chase him down because we haven't got you can use the bow and arrows with the and it died of bleeding because i have the bloody part Urgh! completely forgot that my spears do bleeding damage which is quite significant <laughs> let's try this again for the 400th time boom a little bit of 384 damage there let him bleed a little bit my horse is gonna die now i know it's gonna happen so if you don't want your horse to die you can actually just run away from him wait to him to get to a distance and then run in and do another little stabby stabs oh i didn't aggro the other one let's uh give him one more little hit i think we can give him one more oh he's gonna bleed to death watch what what you're gonna bleed to death he's not gonna bleed to death i'm gonna hit him once and he's gonna go all right you stop running so let's run up to him and give him a little poke with the prodder see what happens Bonk. and he's unconscious we bloody he did it absolutely beautiful so let's go get our cage so that guy just sits there unconscious there's no way to move him about pick him about or stuff like that my horse is dying amazing attach this to the car it's been a bit of a messy one this one but we don't we can't always have the best days connect to the horse make sure you click the name and we're gonna go head over to our little friendly fellow that is unconscious so you just want to pull the car up really close to him they do stay unconscious for quite a significant amount of time at the beginning and you just hold e on the cage itself put animals in cage and click the boar and voila, you have a boar in a cage. Not as tasty as a pig in blanket. So now we're going to head back to base and hopefully not get absolutely slaughtered. So it won't actually die just yet until we get right back to the base. Hopefully. Oh, I see all of you. I see all of you. We're going, we're going to go right round there. Right. I'm not even going to chant. Actually, you know what? Why not? You only live once. And I've said that a few times. I ran for a, I ran for an NPC city and got one shot by an arrow. Look how many bloody... Look at all these wolves. Look at them all. Just waiting. I'm going to run them into the base, open the door and run them all inside. Oh, that's probably not the best idea. It is really not the best idea because I've got a really bad turning circle. No, don't get stuck on invisible rock. I have my settings all up because it's a beautiful game. Like, like you can't even argue that it's not a beautiful game oi cliff edge my heart just went so you want to get off your horse you want to press e on over the on the actual pig den itself 
you want to click on put animal into building and click bore and bang you have another bore inside of pig pen the more bores that you have in here the more items that actually you get from doing it we've only had this for an hour or two and it's starting to collect people are starting to have babies there's only one male left so we need to raise that birth rate up to get more in there we might have to get a couple more males a couple more females to get the actual ball rolling and you can only capture one pig at a time in the cage as you can see you get fine hide you get truffle which is used to feed the bears that you can tame later on you get raw meat you get pig cinnabar you get bone and animal fat now as i said earlier animal fat is really important and this is the whole reason why you're going to be setting up the boar pen even if you have no other pens at all it is a very very nice addition to your base and that's all we have for today here's the pig pen this is the unlimited animal fat farm passively gain animal fat as much as you want i want to thank you for watching remember to check out all the other guides on my channel there are a hell of a lot of them make sure to like and sub for all of your myth of empires content fly safe and avoid local chat scams